Today, I'm going to talk about the secret weapon that you need on the Daniel Fast. Hey y'all, it's Pastor B from Forward Church. Welcome to today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we release new content designed to help you move forward with God. Today, I'm talking about the secret weapon for your Daniel Fast. And really, not just the secret weapon for your Daniel Fast. In my opinion, this is the secret weapon for your entire spiritual life. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you one big thing to make sure that you're getting the most out of this secret weapon for your spiritual life. So what is that secret weapon? Journaling. That's right. Journaling is that secret weapon. Studies have shown that there are multiple benefits to journaling. Journaling has actually been something that therapists have used for years with their patients as they come in to help them process things that are happening and going on in their lives. But not just that, there have been a number of studies that have shown that journaling helps with physical life as well. There have been studies that have shown that people who journal before bed actually get to sleep quicker and sleep better. There have been journals that have shown that people with HIV or asthma who regularly journal actually have better ways of coping with that physically than they did before or than those that don't. There was even one study done in 2013 that's crazy, blows my mind, that people who actually had wounds, physical wounds, their wounds would heal faster if they journaled versus the people that they studied that didn't journal. I mean, there are so many benefits to journaling. But the big reason that I'm talking about this as a spiritual life hack or a secret, secret weapon for your Daniel Fast and your spiritual life is this. Journaling regularly helps us to be able to process what God is doing and it makes sure that we focus on what's happening in our lives. Now, there are a number of ways that we can journal and today I want to talk about three of those ways. The first one is one that's referred to as prayer journaling. Now, you can buy a prayer journal from any Christian bookstore. You can buy one from Amazon, or you could just do like me, and you can get the cheapest thing that you can find. But really, a prayer journal is just that. It's a journal that you write your prayers. You write what God is doing in your prayers. How is God answering those prayers? Has the answer happened yet? Was it an answer that you didn't like? Was it an answer that you did like? Are you still waiting on the answer? It's simply put a way to chronicle what's happening in your prayer life. Now, one awesome thing about a prayer journal is you can also write down prayer requests that people give to you so you have them written down and you can look at them and pray for them. Because let's be honest, y'all, most of us forget people's prayer requests whenever they ask us for one, right? You know who I'm talking to. So prayer journaling is one great way to make sure that you're connecting with what's happening and what God's doing. Another great way to journal is to do a Bible journal. Now, this Bible journal is one, it's the Gospel According to Mark. At our church, we're going through the Mark sermon series, and so I've been journaling what God has been speaking to me and revealing to me as I've been going through the Gospel of Mark. Now, this Bible journal, uh, I bought it for like five bucks from Amazon. You can find it yourself. You don't even need to do that, though. You can get just any old notebook or any old journal will do, and basically, you take a passage of Scripture, and you read it, and read it, and read it, and read it, and pray, and read it, and pray, and read it. Did I say read it enough? And you're journaling through what's happening in that passage. Now, there are a number of great ways that you can do that. Uh, you can do the SOAP method, where you do scripture, observation, application, and prayer. There are other ways that you can do various journals where you can, uh, one that we did when I was in Bible college was we did three paragraphs. In the first paragraph, we explained what was happening in the, in the verses we read. The second paragraph, we explained why we felt like God felt it necessary for that to be Holy Scripture. And the third paragraph, we journaled specifically what we felt like the Holy Spirit was speaking to us and what we were going to do as a result of it. So there are several ways that you can journal through the Bible, but the important part is that we're taking time to seek God through the Scriptures and be open to what God would say to us. So Bible journaling is a great way to journal. And then the third one that we're going to talk about today is just a life journal. And a life journal is just that. It is a journal of things that are happening in our lives. The good things, the bad things, and everything in between. 
the journal about the argument that I had with my spouse, the journal about how excited I am that I'm going to be a parent, the journal about how sad I am that I'm having to give up meat and caffeine for the Daniel Fast. Whatever it is that's going on in your life goes in a life journal. Um, also, I use my life journal to journal prayers. I typically write what's happening in my life and where I'm feeling God work. And also I confess sin and I share some things I'm struggling with in that journal. But I always, at the end of them, I write a small prayer that's my prayer in response to the reflection and the processing that I've done through my journal time. Now, I do want to say here that some of you may be going, ah, but I don't really want to write down on record some things that I'm struggling with. Here's something beautiful that somebody told me years ago. If there's something that you don't want anybody else to find, just rip that page out and throw it in the fire. It'll burn up and nobody will be able to read what's happening and what's going on. See, the important thing about what I've talked about here is journaling helps us to process. There's an old saying that life is lived forward, but understood in reverse. And basically what that means is that when we look behind us, we can better process what's happened and what's going on. And journals are just a way of helping us to focus and helping us to see what's happening and what's going on there. So it's almost bonus tip time. Are you ready for bonus tip? I told you if you stick around to the end of the video, I'd share with you one thing that will help you make sure you get the most out of this secret weapon. But before we get into the bonus tip, show your boys some love in the comments and type out, let me know which one of the three journaling styles best fits your personality. Let me know if you're a prayer journal person or if you're a Bible journal person or if you're a life journal person. Let me know which one of those fits your uh, personality in the comments. Now, it's time for the bonus tip. So, here's the one thing that I have learned from hard experience and from doing journals over the years that will help make sure that we get the most out of this spiritual life hack or this secret weapon. The one tip is consistency. The reality is this. Small, consistent steps over the short run equals big life change over the long run. And so my encouragement to you is to be as consistent as possible when it comes to journaling. Now realize that consistency looks different for different people. For some people, consistency is journaling every day. For other people, consistency is journaling every other day. There are some people that consistency is journaling once a week or every other week or maybe even once a month. What matters is that you find what consistency looks like for you and you stick with it. Remembering that small, consistent steps over the short run equals big life change over the long run. And so I want to encourage you, be consistent, take some time with the journal, get into that, process what's happening in your life, process the prayers, process what God's speaking to you through his word, and stay consistent as you do it. Now, for more videos that will help you move forward with God on your spiritual walk, make sure that you've subscribed to this channel and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Pastor B from Forward Church, and I love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.